If you want your band to succeed, here are the five things that you need. Let's go. What's up everybody, my name is Adam, welcome to the channel. My goal is to help you make good money playing music. If that sounds good, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. So earlier this week on Facebook, I made a post asking if anybody had any tips about starting a successful band that they wish they knew ahead of time. Much to my surprise, I ended up getting hundreds of responses and most of them were pretty helpful. So to save you the trouble, I compiled all the answers and boiled them down to five things I think every band needs in order to make an impact in their market. Just to note, this applies to all bands of all kinds. When you get down to the nuts and bolts, it doesn't matter whether you're playing originals or covers, these concepts are universal. So get something to write with. Did you get it? Cool, let's get started. Rule number one, you have to have chemistry with your bandmates. This one came up over and over in the replies and as a person who's been in like dozens of bands at this point, it makes total sense. Being in a band is like being in a long-term relationship but with like five people. And there's nothing worse than being stuck in a group with people you can't stand to be around. And when that's the case, the audience can tell. The good news is that when everyone in the band gets along, the fun and positivity is also conveyed to the crowd. It can be hard to find people that you gel with, especially in a small market. And finding those people may take some time. But personally, I'll take somebody who's a good hang over a jerk with great chops any day of the week. Number two, you need a band structure. I think there's a huge misconception about the organization of a successful group. Lots of folks think that they can set up a band like a pure democracy where everybody's on equal footing and has equal say, not to mention equal pay. The problem is, is that this kind of agreement only works if the workload is split evenly and everybody does their fair share. This is not usually the case though. Usually there's one or two people that do the majority of the work and put up the funds to purchase the band's assets. Shouldn't they get compensated more for that? Most bands that I've been in operate under something like a benevolent dictatorship. Everyone may get a say in day-to-day -day operations or the direction of the group, but ultimately there's one person who makes the final call. Now, I'm not saying one way is better than the other, but once a band is established, it is really difficult to change the way things are done. That's why you need to get a band structure in place before moving forward. Have those hard conversations on the front end. Otherwise, if things need to change, you may end up with a band that breaks up on the back end. Number three, you need to be unique. In order to stand out from other bands in your area, you have got to find a way to differentiate yourself. It doesn't have to be some avant-garde gimmick or anything. You just have to find your niche or niche. How are we saying that now? Study other groups in your area. What are they doing? What are they not doing? Studying your contemporaries is a great way to find opportunities for your band to fill a need in your market. Note, I did not say competition. Let's keep an abundance mindset here. Uniqueness is most important in marketing, in my opinion. And uniqueness could be something as simple as how you brand and market the group. This is a great opportunity to flex those creative muscles and potentially elevate your group to a higher level straight out of the gate. This one kind of relates to number three. Number four, you need to play with the audience in mind. This one seems so obvious, but I see musicians miss this all the time. Your music and your performance has to be something that people want to experience. That means that everything you put out needs to be easy to digest and memorable. Not only that, it needs to be seen by the right bucket of people, not musicians. In business, there's a term called the customer avatar, which is basically a report of the specific kind of person you want to be in your audience. This is something you should absolutely do when putting a band together. Who is your target demographic? How old are they? What are they into? Try to drill down and be as specific as possible. Doing this exercise will help clarify the decision-making process for all kinds of things related to your project. From what venues you play to where you advertise, these things will help cast vision for your band to operate moving forward. Last but certainly not least, number five, you have to work hard. Look, getting a new project off the ground is tough. Just for fun, I Googled live music and there were 2.3 billion results. So if you want to break through and be successful, you have got to be willing to put the work in. That means dialing in your songs and perfecting your live show, getting your branding right, creating great promo, setting up your social media accounts, going to prospective venues to get shows booked, the list goes on and on. Ultimately, your band has to be something that people are willing to go see live. They won't do that unless you can find ways to make your band and ultimately your performance is unforgettable. So get into the right headspace to be willing to put as much effort as possible into your band's next show. And just know that it's a marathon to keep your band active and front of mind to your fans. So those are my top five things every band needs to be successful. But what did I miss? Leave those in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. That's gonna do it for this one. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every single Friday. Also, it's the new year and we have tons of resources to help your band get to the next level. From blank band contracts and writers to Ableton Live templates to to music expense trackers. There are tons of tools available in the description of this video to help you make good money playing music. Have an awesome week, 
and I'll see you next time.